All right, welcome back to Dutch Master Studios. I think this is part three. I've gone ahead and put in a lot of the green and yellow from the Lambeau field. And uh, that's the Packers colors are yellow and green. So I've got that filled out. Now, I've done a lot of the Monet kind of uh, lily pad effect where I just keep going over and over and over and over with circles and shapes filling in every little spot of canvas. We don't want any of the canvas showing. So what I want to do is just kind of look for excess paint and just kind of make a circle, blend it in like that with my finger. So I'm just taking my finger, my middle finger, because it covers a lot. Now you can use two fingers like this, but we're not doing that right now. We're past that. We're, we're just trying to stabilize all the little white canvas that's underneath. We want to get every little white canvas colored, even the edges where the edge of the canvas. I don't cut my canvases. I just put them on the wall with a staple gun and just start going using just my hand. This is hand painting. Uh, if you don't want to learn how to hand paint, it's real easy. Just stick some paint on your finger and just start going like this. Just go wherever, start making a mess. That's how you, you practice. It's making a mess. And then you'll be surprised after you've gelled it all together how beautiful oil looks when it's when it when it dries and how how many different angles that a painting has because the oil gives it so many different effects. It's not like acrylic or spray paint. This ain't spray paint. And it sure to hell ain't watercolors. All right, so we're getting some more people in here. Over here. Making it look more like a painting. It's starting to take a little bit of effect, but we're, we're making a, a painting behind a painting. But, but you see, this dark area here goes better over lighted area. So... You don't put light on top of dark, you put dark on top of light. That way you create distance. There's a layer back there, and then there's this layer here, and then I can have this giant helmet here, and this other, you know, but this is as far as the layering is going. This stuff back here is a couple of football players here and there, and we're going to get to that. But uh, I just wanted to get caught up here with you. And uh, I got the camera to the side over here so that you can see me a little bit better. So instead of just watching my back, you can watch me paint. So you just take your hand and you just wipe it off into the rag till it's off. And then you just get another color. All right. So let's start with, um, let's get some base colors here. Let's work on his face because... We're never going to make any money off this painting unless we get the face perfect. So what I need is the skin color that's tanned. I think this is, this is, well this is paint flesh again. Alright, so I need a little bit darker color than that. So I'm going to add a little brown to it. Unless I have something in here. Make a color. Always making a color. Never just use one color. Always mix it with something. Anyway, here we go. Let's just fill in around, get the face taken care of. And then we'll go back over it with the the tan where he's where he's uh he's burnt. His face is burnt. Okay, now I got the the chin strap is right here. We're going to have to put that on after we finish coloring his face. want to get a little bit more chubbier of a cheek here because he's 
he's a big boy, so he's going to have a little face fat if you look at any of his pictures. And I've seen a couple of them now, and they're like, he's, he's a big guy. You can see he's six foot three, 240. He's probably bigger than that now, but, but this is his prime playing weight. All right, can you see that? So you just squeeze a little bit on your finger and just kind of just take care of, of the angle. And you, you, put the, you put the paint towards wherever direction it's going. If it's going left, then you put the paint left, left to right, right to left, north and south, sideways. Make sure that you get around. Use your, if there's a round circle, make, you, know, you have to use a circular motion there. You have to come around. This is a darker color. I'm just trying to see what we got here. Of course, you know, it's when it comes to painting with your fingers, you have to be a little bit more precise on the angle. So you have to learn the sides of your fingers, which side can carry just a little bit of paint to where you can just barely nick the painting or just barely touch it like this. Huh? So this is a, a chin strap anyway. So let's just get around his, my, his mustache. Get his nose going. Pretty sharp nose here. Um, okay, we got these eyes. Don't mess with the eyes yet. This is off a little bit. We need to take care of that. This has got to go down. This has got to go. So you take the rag, okay, and you grab the bottom part so it don't hit the painting. So you pull this away, and then you just kind of get some of this paint and just come and get the shape right because when you're talking about like flat images, angles, you know, if you're you know doing some sort of architecture work, you have to make things look straight even while they're crooked. So you're you're constantly making something that has an angle to it. Now, so be a little bit more flat because his helmet is flat and this area here needs to be maybe taken out so just grab a little part of the rag and just pull out as much as you need to take out looks like I need to chop this out so what all I'm gonna do is just rub off as much of this gray because it's got to come down it's got to be a lighter color let's get that in right now with a, a yellow since we're at Lambeau let's keep everything light Remember, the light makes the dark come out. Now, this is going to... How's that? No, it's got to be lighter. So it can accentuate, accentuate the dark. White, white, white. Squeeze the white on your pinky so you don't get this color into the tube. So you've got ye white, yellow, you know, and then I start, and always keep the dark colors on your thumb so you keep them away from your other fingers until you get completely covered, then you have to wipe your hand off. But wipe it off on the canvas. Make sure you, you put your paint in, into the canvas. Don't wipe it off like on anything else until, you know, you just don't need it anymore. So where are we at? We're here. We want to lighten this up just a little bit. You know, just put this in here for right now. And then I'll come back to it because I got to straighten out and see exactly if this helmet is is in the angle that it's supposed to be because I have to come back and straighten his shoulder so the shoulder pad would be a clean cover. It goes over the crowd, so the crowd then the, then the helmet. So that's why we're not we're not doing anything in here because we have to build the crowd first and then we overlay all this would have to be cut in with the white paint like like I said always wiping off onto the canvas this is the palette right here that's the palette and we turn the palette into a painting we turn it into a Monet painting because there's so many colors that are gelling together it reminds you of the lily pad effect, which I, I kind of like that. And it also rivals the actual painting itself. Not that we're taking away from it, but we just want to make it magnificent as we can. All right, let's see. What can we do here? 
Let's see, did that pad come off the ground a little bit, flying high? Let's go, let's wipe this up. Just take your thumb. Your thumb is probably your best straight angle because you can go sideways with it and you can kind of feel with the thumb. Once you learn how to, to make your thumb work for you, you can get straight angles because most people are used to rubbing things off with their thumb. So when you, when you rub stuff with your thumb, you're going to get, always get the same angle, the same straightness. So it's a very good tool. It's a number, th it's a number one thumb. This is a number two thumb. But they both are pretty good. They better be good. They're the best. Okay, so there's a lot of little white in here that needs to be gone over, but I don't want to do that because I only got so many minutes on my, on my phone to tape. So let's keep working on his face and get this, get this darker pigment a little bit darker pigment into the face and that's going to take some brown where's where's a little bit of brown a little bit of pink makeup huh put some pink on him boy he'd really beat me up if he saw me he'd really lay into me he said you put pink on my face thought you was painting me you're playing with me okay so I got a little bit of brown on my fingers, just a just a barely a little bit. And this picture is so small I can't even see. But let me see. I, I think I got a better picture here of this. This is a chopped version. It's on YouTube, but I can see his face a little bit. Okay, so let's start going on this nose here. Let's put the shadow on this side. Let's just give him, make him dirty and mean, like he's mean. The Monster of the Midway, that was his nickname. Or he started, he didn't, I think he, he made the monsters. He was the monster. But there was monsters before him. There's always been monsters in Chicago. This just happens to be the most famous monster. So not really uh, this dark of a color needs to be on the canvas. But I'm putting it on now because I don't want to go back and say, oh, you didn't put on enough. So we'll put this brown on, kind of help with, with getting his face structures where there's, you know, shadowing that needs to be in, like his jawbone down here. Stay away from the, the gray. Stay away from the gray. Your fingers come up to it, and then it goes away. Don't get mixed in the colors, because then you're going to have a, a, a big mess, and you ain't going to make any money. Nothing. You might as well just throw it in the trash because no one wants gray on the face. All right, here we go. Let's get this mustache in. Just pulling down real quick strokes with your finger, making sure that you stay loaded. I don't have any place to get brown from in here, so I have to go to the tube, which I don't mind. But I have to keep you have to keep stuff in mind that everything has angles and shapes and you have to try to make the best shape you can out of out of what you can see so you're perceiving this this and it looks that way but once you put it on the camera you go oh that's wrong and it's it's like this this shoulder pad it, you know is needs to be higher or lower or, or this hand like this hand this is a kindergarten hand like I shouldn't even painted it because this hand needs to go like this. This this hand needs to be like way out here. The fingers need to be like like real intense. And that's and that's not what what uh, what it's it this like like and, and and the fingers are like 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 that. You know I don't know. It's hard to do with when you first just kind of getting a the shapes in and stuff and kind of get the I know there's some tape probably in there and then the pinky I know his hands bigger than that uh, well we'll just leave that for now because I know that it's gonna take some more gonna take a little time oh please don't start singing please okay I won't all right, so 
there's this hand that is trying to get around the corner here. They're trying to get to the corner. They're all trying to head to the side like a sweep. So, so the Packers are running a sweep out or off tackle and he is working his way that way. So, so he's like, he's like this, you know, trying to get around the turn, but he's on, he's, he's in full speed. You can tell he's, he's just going as fast as he can move. And that's what we want. We want to create movement with, with, uh, with paint. And the way you got to do it, you just got to keep working on it. It's best not to, to put down paint and have to go over it. Like here, I got to go over this again with white. All right, let's keep working on the face. Anything flesh. Here's some flesh over here. There's some shadow over here. Okay. Remember, bring the thumb in to get the excess off, and then you come back later and, and get it. And then you can always go back over with your, your uh, flesh tone if you want to make it lighter. Okay, so his neck is in here, and it's on the gray. So we're going to have to get some white, not white, but uh, the flesh, 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 flesh. Okay, what did I do with the flesh? Mm, 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 mm. Right, let's get rid of this brown. Good. Let's just fill in those little white spots on the canvas. Make sure you get every one of those little white spots underneath there done. See, there's too much yellow and green and blue. See, the good thing about the blue is that when you mix it with yellow, it makes green and so get, you got a, another shade of, of green. Just take care of all those little white spots there and you have to smash them in. Like here, I, right here, I got to still work on a helmet, so we're, we're not, we can't really do circles here yet. We're just trying to get, trying to get as close as we can to the helmet without making the helmet overlap. So we want to overlap this image over this other painting. So we're actually making two paintings in one, but we have to overlay one of them. Anyway, we'll work on the crowd later. And the crowd's getting bigger, so there's bigger people here. Uh, Better come out, come out, come out. Mm. Need a screwdriver. Dick on it. All right, let me pop open another two. Okay, this might be baby flesh. I don't know. Let's just pop it up and see what we got. All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right, some flesh. Some real shiny flesh. Now there's going to be some sunlight on this other side. So this side over here wouldn't be, wouldn't have all this baby flesh in it. Now this, this really light, light flesh I'm using goes good with the brown. So like right here where I was telling you about the neck, that's where we're going to make the neck so we can Kind of gel, bring it back in a little bit. Give them some. I know that's that's a crazy, crazy flesh color, but I need it right now just to take care of this all this gray. It'll wear out after a while, and it'll look just like like skin. So let's do as much as we can to give it a skin effect without making it look like a Barbie or a caricature. Which this ain't no caricature. It's it's just a painting that's developing. And after I get into making every little chiseled, tiny little hair on his nose and all that, then we'll go into deeper stuff. Which uh, like getting this this stuff straightened out in here. This stuff right in here is, this is already messed up. This, this five should be 
down a little bit more and you know I'm just I'm just working too fast because I'm trying to do a video and, and I only have a certain amount of time right now that I have to show you but you just gotta keep mixing colors with each other and it looks better when you have two colors instead of one but you have to use one as the shade and one is the shadow. I mean, uh, the light and one is the sh is the shadow. And shadow is purple. So if you can use different layers of purple and gray. Gray is shadow too. But like in these clothes, you can't use purple in these clothes because the clothes are white and the shade is gray. So it's clothes are different in some circumstances because if they're white robed, there can't be any purple in it at all. Not even lavender or anything. Let's put some uh, some white in over here and get this this jersey filled in here. I think we got like something that goes like this maybe. It's kind of you no, know, kind of turning up a little bit like that. Yeah. All right. How about this? Turning that much. Stay out of the orange, idiot. Okay, let's see if we can cut into this gray a little bit. Okay, so this is the part of the jersey that's that's uh, turning while he's turning. So we have to turn his body because he, this this is a baggy jersey down here because the the pads have got it all tied up there. So this is kind of just hanging, and he's he's just trying to to tackle. So we have to get this white in here. And then get it right here like this. Ah, stay out of the orange. Okay, let's clean this up just a little bit. Messing around. You mess around, you play around. All right. Okay, not too much. Not too much. Okay, so now, let's see what else can we do with this white for a second. Let me wipe my hand off. I'm totally mixed up here. All right, okay, let's put the, uh, the chin strap on. I need a good clean, always start, work down here at the bottom like a toothpaste. And you slowly work, make sure you keep the shape so that you can get as much paint out of the tube as possible by squeezing it just like a toothpaste and that's you know that's just how you have to get as much paint out of the tube as possible okay I need a different kind of I need to get this orange off for a quickie here staying away from the painting always stay away from the painting because get yourself in trouble with the rag and you start dripping Next thing you know, you got you got paint everywhere. Orange is all over the place. Okay, the chin strap. A dirty white. So, well, let's just go ahead and start it white because it'll get dirty after a while once it gets going. But this chin strap is it's bigger than it looks on. Like I when I when I first saw it, I thought, all right, this is going to be a little part of the of the painting. But after I looked at it, I was like, wow, this chin strap makes the whole painting. So it goes around right here, so it's gone around that left side. Now there's still shadows and stuff under here that the mask makes, and let's see if we can do something right for a second without having to go back. Um, let's take this strap. And just work it right here into there, just for right now. Uh, and then we'll we'll do this other strap, because it's a two strap. It, it goes from here down to here, and then it comes down. See how I used my thumb to get the pull down? You pull down with your thumb, because you have to be able to use the excess like that to make the shape. There's a line here. 
and it, it sure ain't orange. God, stay away from the orange. I put the orange in, which I shouldn't. I should do that like later. But I like just putting colors on. I like getting to the beauty of where I'm getting to. But the but the intensity in the eyes is still still lacking. You know, I need to get that established, and I, I can't because everything is so wet. And if I just touch something, it'll it'll just go somewhere. So that's what happens when you're paint by hand. Yeah, you still have to, either way, when you're painting, you have to do layers and you have to wait for other stuff to dry so you can come back and, and, and get it right. All right, let's just leave it at that for right now. How's that? Just for right now. Okay, it actually goes way up the helmet. So let me just go ahead and just stretch it all the way out, which would be at the tip of my finger, just pull upward and, and you can always go back over it with the black. There's plenty of black to, to cover any mistake you make. So you come back. Here's the other one right here. It's like way up the helmet. Because it's like strapped in maybe twice or something. All right, so that's good. Now let's get this. This is more of a, of a gray. So let's, now we need gray. I'm trying to get rid of gray all day. And now... I need it, and that's all I need is gray, because this is light gray and dark gray. So we're going to take it from here, not taking away from the crevices, just creating clothing here while you're taking paint from here. So this is my palette, and I'm just taking, so I can just do this little inside part right here where I need it. Now, now I have this, I have to use this somewhere else when I have to come down here. Speaking of that, let me do that right now after I get this gray in. I just thought of something. Uh, all right, let me fix this, 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 and that should give me enough gray here. Oh, you don't want to give me enough gray. Is that enough gray? No. All right, let me get some gray. All right, here we go. You see how I went up there to get my paint? That's how you got to work the whole painting. You got to get paint from everywhere, not from your palette. If you're going back and loading your palette and stuff, just grab a tube and start painting. I mean, that's all this is, is just art. And you can just get the same results from your fingers as you can with a brush. Now, you're not going to get like ultra, like tiny little, you know, I had to grow my fingernails to do hair. No, I mean, of course, I use a brush and stuff when I have to. but. If I, if I don't have to use a brush, there's no sense having a brush because unless you have hair that you need combed while you're painting. All right, let's do this. This got all messed up somehow. Okay, so that goes like that. How's that look? This is not good. Okay, let's do the stripe on the pants so we can see where we're at down there. So let's go back to the other picture. Um, so there's a full picture and there's a half picture. I found this one. Luckily, I didn't even know that there was a bottom of the painting. See, I painted this off of the off the YouTube um, video. Then I found the photo that actually went all the way down. Because if I'd have known that the photo went all the way down, I would have painted his feet here and his head up here, and I, you would have the whole body. But instead. I got messed up, so let's just try to come off these pants right here and get this orange in, which would be like, uh, let's see here, so the stripe would start right at his hip, so his hip is here, so, so what we're going to do is make his leg moving, his leg is moving, and it has this, this side stripe on his, on his uniform that comes around with the leg, so he's, he doesn't move that fast, so his leg, I mean, he's fast, but it's not like his leg's being lifted up like this. He's, he's like running bow-legged, pigeon-toed real quickly, so he, his legs are just barely, he's running like 100 miles per hour for like 10 yards. So he's got to have this barely leg of moving. It's like this. It's like... Rawr, and the legs, you know, 
coming around the corner. So that's that's still in gear. So he's in gear. I'm not going to put that there. I'm just going to run this here. Then I'm going to run. I think it's a it's a black stripe. Let's do that right now. And then we'll try something else. So this is black or blue. I'm sure it's blue, but a lot of people have always said it's black. Chicago black. Black and blue. All right, now we'll just run this like this, right beside it. Almost like a thick stripe on the side of your leg. Stay away from the orange. There's still white that is down here that has not even, there's a paint booger. Ugh. And let's keep coming down with your finger, your middle finger, because you're going to need a stripe's going to be big. So you have to use your middle finger because that's your biggest, your biggest uh, spread. That's the number four finger. All right, and then on the other side, I think this goes like this. Got to get some paint on. You got to put some paint on your finger. Can't just keep going back to the tube with a little bit because I got a lot to paint here, and it's thick. So I, I, I won't, I'm, luckily I don't have any paint down. That's why I say don't paint where you don't need to paint because, like I said, I didn't know I had to put this stripe in, and now I do because I saw the picture, which is good because I didn't even know that there was a stripe down there. But great. So we did that, and then we bring the white over. So we got a little bit of white on your thumb, and then just chop it in from the top like that, sort of could kind of give it a... A division between the pants and the belt, the the torso and the legs. All right, we're still on over here. Okay, great. So now, what do we want to do? Let's take a look at it here. See where can we mess up? Put some black in here. All this stuff. Fill all these little, just look for canvas. If you can find canvas, we'll, we'll fix the people's faces later. The ones that need, you know, where it's just too, too much of a painting. And we want to still stay with like, what's that? Oh, that's lily pads. He said they were lily pads. No, I said it's the lily pad effect that Monet uses when he paints. It's just like, like floating with paint. We don't paint like that here. We paint with our fingers. We're finger painters. That's all we do. We just paint with our hands. After a while, you build your hands up and they become tough. Be able to paint anything. Be able to paint on bricks. All right, getting in little pieces. Everything's got to be covered every little area and everybody needs a friend and there's another friend next to this friend and this one needs a little friend uh, that's my Bob Ross just kidding love Bob Ross he was such a great guy I learned a lot about landscaping like 25 years ago when I used to watch Bob Ross paint I never would paint anything that I never even touched uh, oil paint before. I'd only done acrylics and spray paint and I was a sculptor. I sculpt, you know, anything. I sculpt, make anything out of marble, marble X. Not a chiseler, you know, but a sculpt, a molder. So right, like what you're doing is kind of molding the paint. But you only can use your fingers. You don't want to use the brushes because the brush stroke it's, it's played. I mean, I mean, come on. I'm losing. I'm losing a lot of blue, and I'm losing browns and stuff. And I, I need to get back into getting some some more of the flesh here. Let's go around here. Let's see if we can get closer to this helmet. Like I said, we have to go back over this with the black to make sure that the helmet is correct. 
I don't even know if the helmet is shaped right yet because I can't really tell. But I don't want this to look like... So I have to get as close to the helmet as possible without making like a stripe or one color. Like this is cool because I'm going to be able to hide this like into the crowd once I go over it with the pad. And I need this kind of light right here to show that it, his head, the helmet, the, the size, the, the, the 